Okay, Robbie, another big day at the Oval and a great victory in the quarter final of the Irish Cup. Just give us your thoughts on the game. Yeah, it was you know it was a difficult game. The conditions were, were tough. Um, I mean, the wind was just incredible in the first half. You know, we got, we got pegged in a lot of the time. The goal kicks weren't really crossing the halfway line, so obviously we knew that they were going to try and peg us in. And to be fair to them, they got a good goal, although it took a bit of a deflection. But we kept calm, we kept composed, and we, we stuck to our game plan. And I thought, you know, second half we'd come out and I think we just we overran them and just you know kept them pinned in their half. And thankfully we put away put away a couple of couple of goals. Oh, it was obviously with a wind. It was it was hectic, um, but you know the boys dug in. First half, you know the plan was you know limit the damage. Maybe maybe next one upper, and Robbie had a chance, and uh, we had maybe an or couple of half chances. But no, they were the more dominant team in the first half. But we knew we had that with a win we could we could do more damage demons in the second half, and thankfully I got a goal. We we'll go about it all week or all year even. Um, you know, the character in this group is you know, never say day. We, we, we don't know when we're beat, and we, we, we keep going no matter what the scoreline. And it was just the same today. We come in at half time, and you know, the gaffer says, Look, don't be getting worried, we're, we're controlling the game, the chances will come, and just stay calm and put them away whenever they do come. So uh, no, we, just, we just stuck to our game plan, we kept our heads down, we worked, we worked extremely hard, and you know, thankfully we got the reward. And just talk us through the goals, it's a great finish. You don't <laughs> seem to score bad goals. Yeah, no, I, was, I was saying to the boys when they come in, I wasn't meant to be up for the ones, but I took a wee gamble. The, the guys were left 2v2 at the back, but look, it's fell to me and I've stuck it in the, the bottom corner. Obviously the penalty, talk us through what's, what's going through your mind when you're stepping up to take well, a penalty. I, you know, I've missed a couple of chances today and I just thought, you know, my luck's got to change at some stage and you know, the penalty's a, a golden opportunity. I got a bit of stick last week for not hitting the one uh, that Nav missed, so um, I thought as soon as the penalty was given, I thought, you know, I'll, I'll step up here and I'll, you know, I'll try and right the wrongs from the, from the day and, you know, it's one of them ones where you, know, you have to step up if you, if you want to you know, write your name in history at this club. You've got to, you've got to step up and do it at the, at the big times. And um, thankfully, it went in. If I had caught it well, he, he, he might have got it, you know. But sometimes the ones that you catch clean don't always go in. The ones that you, you don't do. So it's just the way it goes. And obviously, you've got Rory Donnelly up playing with you now. What, what's he been like since he's joined the club? Yeah, Rory's been excellent. You know, he's, he's probably similar to the way I play. You know, he's, he's good in the air and he likes to thread balls through. And he does a lot of work off the ball as well. So, you know, Rory's been excellent. And so have all the, the new lads that have come in. You know, they've all been super and they've bought into what we're doing here. And, you know, they give us that wee lift. Yes, you know, in the last couple of weeks we've, you know, stuttered a wee bit. But, you know, Mick and Wendy spoke about it before the game. They said we've lost, like, you know, two games all, all year at home. So it's incredible to see where we, we are now from where we were last year and that's credit to the lads that you know have come in but you know, credit to the boys that have been here as well you know they've really pulled their socks up and they've worked hard and you know <laughs> if we're all pulling the same direction as a club fans players management you know the only way is up it's massive i've, I've played in semi-finals before and you know the, the club's built around big irish cup history so hopefully we can go all the way and obviously it's days like this, quarter-finals, semi-finals, even in the Irish Cup that fans look forward to. Is that something that really encourages the players and spurs you guys on? Yeah, big time. I mean, the crowd today was you know, unbelievable for such a, you know, a, a bad day. That's a day for you know, sitting in the house with a, with a fire on. So you know, credit to the fans for coming out in their numbers, which they have done you know, all year. Um, but yeah, obviously the cup atmosphere, everybody wants that sunny day in May and you want to give the fans that. and You, know, you want to give your teammates and, and, and the management staff and everybody around the club that day out because you know, they deserve it for... You know, the hard times we've put up for you know, in the last couple of years, and obviously it's well documented. Glen Torn have had a, had a great history in the Irish Cup, so you know hopefully we can we can get another sunny day in May again.